coffee, computer bag with computer, lunch, warm hat, AKA toque, gloves, come on, I live in Canada and it's fall, Clorox disinfecting wipes, hand sanitizer, face mask, stress ball. These are all the things you need to take to work these days in the middle of this COVID-19 pandemic just to get through the day. Now, the question is, when you're a bike commuter, what's the best way to take that stuff? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. That is the topic of today's video. We're going to test the best way of getting your work stuff to work. And what we're going to do today is test four different methods. Panniers for saddlebags, which I've got right here. We're also going to try a back basket. We're going to try a backpack and the venerable milk crate. I'm going to take all that work stuff, load up each of these carrying devices and go for a ride. And we'll try to figure out what is the best method for carrying your work stuff. Got it? Okay. Okay. First off, we're going to test panniers or cargo bags. So the good people at Vincito were good enough to send me this bag a few weeks ago. So I've been testing it out. A couple of things about this bag. It's got a clasp on each side to seal it up and a nice tight uh, Velcro seal at the top. In goes the lunch, gloves, just in case, toque, just in case, mask, just in case, stress ball, it's pandemic. Let's, let's seal it up. There we go. And that's only half the bag. In goes the coffee, in goes the all important bleach wipes and the all important hand sanitizer. There we go. Plenty of room to spare. Let's hit the road. Okay, so that's the pannier. Panniers are great because once you start riding, you just completely forget they're there. Once you start pedaling, you, you rarely feel the weight in the back. These ones are quite good. Like I said before, they're from Vincita uh, and they were good enough to provide me a sample. They're pretty roomy. They, everything fit with room to spare. I could probably put more stuff in here if I needed it. I was able to stop on the way and of course put on my toque because it's cold out. Uh, they're pretty good quality. These bags are quite good. One of the best things about this bag is the affordability. They're about $45 US, which is a pretty good price for uh, a decent quality pannier. Um, they've got Velcro straps, which I don't love actually. There are better ways of affixing a bag than just Velcro. Uh, these ones on the top, there's a couple of Velcro straps on the bottom here as well that attach to your rack. So it's a little awkward to get in there and do the Velcro up. But other than that, they're pretty good. One of the best things about this bag is that it's nice. I've got lots of compliments on it. People keep, I've had like three or four people say, ooh, I love the color. So for, a, for an affordable bag, this Vincita is a good one and I recommend it. You can easily undo the Velcro straps and take the thing with you. So it's a pretty good commuter option because it's so convenient and easy to use. Panniers did the job really well. Next, we're gonna try my old favorite, which is a basket, but will it hold up to the commuter challenge? I don't know, let's check it out. Now I've had this basket for, I think say 10 years, and I wish I could remember the brand because it's been great, I love it. It used to have a handle on the top, but uh, somehow I broke it off over the years, but don't let that discourage you because it's a really good basket and the handle was nice because you could just take it off and go. What's great about this basket is that it's just got these clamps on the bottom and they attach right to the back of your bike. Bam, bam, and you're good to go. So it goes on and off really quickly and really easily. And I've loved this basket over the years because it's just so convenient. Whenever I'm going to the grocery store or something, I just throw the things in the back and I go. There's no unbuckling anything. There's no zippers. There's no Velcro. It's just super simple to get things in there and take off, especially if you're going on errands where you're picking up a small number of things. But the question is, can it take all the stuff I need for my commute? Let's see. Computer, bleach wipes, hand sanitizer, coffee, of course, face mask, stress ball, and of course, my lunch. Which, for all you people who will ask later, which is nobody, this isn't actually my lunch. I'm faking it. It really is just three cans of beans. It could be a lunch. Here we go. It all fit in the basket quite well. There's a little bit of extra room. Uh, let's take it for a ride. OK, 
Okay, there's the basket. Oh. And there was one of the downsides of the basket is you gotta lift your leg a little bit higher to get off the bike, so a little trickier. But overall, the basket held up quite well. Everything fit in it pretty well. It's pretty secure on the back. Um, if you're worried about this one being wobbly, it's just because it's a bit old. A newer one would have a tighter spring. You could even secure it onto the rack a little more securely. It'd be more permanent that way, but it'd be more secure. The convenience of it is great. You just dump stuff in there and go. You don't have to zip anything up or latch it. The downside, I think, is that this stuff is uncovered, so when I hit bumps, sometimes I would feel like things might bounce out. Upside, coffee is accessible. I could just reach over and grab it and drink it while I was riding. Oh, the other thing I would say is there's not as much room in the basket as there was in the panniers. You could haul more stuff in the panniers. But overall, love the basket, pretty good option. Let's try the next one, which is the, wait for it, venerable milk crate, probably the most popular bike carrying device in the world. Now this one is a custom designed bespoke carbon fiber milk crate. No, I'm just kidding. It's a cheap plastic milk crate that I've had in my garage for who knows how long. I don't even know where it came from. I suppose you could go buy these, but I feel like no one's ever paid money for these ever. They just seem to appear everywhere. All over the world, people use them on their bikes. To secure it, I am using, not quite duct tape, but the next best thing, a bungee cord. And I know you're going to tell me you should never use a bungee cord on your bike because it could snap off. Your mother will probably tell you that you lose an eye using a bungee cord, but honestly, I use them all the time and I've never had a problem, so I'm going to take the chance today. Let's see, will this work? Of course it'll work. It's a bungee cord. It always works. So you could probably use something more secure. You could, you know, bolt it to your rack or use even cheap plastic cable ties. But one of the things I like about a carrying devices, it's that it's removable. I don't want this milk crate on my bike at all times, hence the bungee cord. But let's see if it holds up. Let's see how much stuff we can fit in here. We'll start with the computer. My lunch, my coffee, and then all the other commuting essentials. It's pretty good, actually. There's lots of room. It's a little bit bigger than the basket, the last basket I had. But will it hold up on the ride? I don't know. Let's give it a shot. You gotta lift your leg even higher with the milk crate. It's uh, still in one piece, it didn't fall off. Actually, pretty good. It carries a lot of stuff. It's actually pretty solid, this crate. It's plastic, but it's pretty tough. I think it, I feel like it would last a long time. I would say the bungee cord, even though I was just talking up how great it was, it's a pretty bad way to secure it. This was moving around quite a bit. On the bumps, I thought the whole thing was gonna go tumbling off. So if you're going to use the milk crate, make sure you find a better way to secure it. Just Google it, you'll figure it out. But overall, I'm quite impressed. You know, especially for, for a solution that's pretty much free, it's a pretty good option. All right, one more thing to test. Okay, the last thing on my list to test today is it's just kind of boring, but it's a backpack. And this is probably the first choice of most people who are commuting, is put all your stuff in a backpack and go for the ride. Nothing fancy about this one. It's not a cycling backpack. It's just a backpack, like a school bag almost. It's got good capacity, but whatever. You can, any backpack will do. Let's see, computer can go in there, no problem. Bleach wipes, coffee, there's a downside is you probably can't reach your coffee. Oh wait, unless I put it in the side pouch. Ooh, innovation on the spot. Lunch, hand sanitizer, stress ball, face mask. Let's do this up. Coffee in the side pouch because, of course, you want to be able to reach your coffee while you're riding. And the backpack goes on. Not that exciting, but it's functional. Let's see how it works on a commute. Okay, so there's the backpack. Now what can I say about the backpack? You've all used a backpack before. It does what it needs to do. But I would say it's actually a little less convenient than the baskets because you have to pack it, zip it up, put it on. Whereas with the baskets, you just load it up and you're ready to go. 
the backpack is often the default or sort of the easy method that most people use when they're trying to transport stuff on their bike, especially when you're when you're new to bike commuting. You just go to the backpack because that's what you know. But I would say it's not the best option because you're carrying that weight on your back. And it may not be a lot of weight, but you don't even realize how much it matters until you get it off your back and put it into something on the back of your rack. It just makes a huge difference. You just you feel so free when it is on my back. If it's hot, it gets sweaty. If it's cold, it gets sweaty too, because I'm usually wearing a thicker jacket. I just, I just prefer not carrying stuff on my body when I'm on my bike. So anyway, it's a decent option, but I would say there are some limitations to it that a lot of people don't even think about. Okay, so those are the four methods that I wanted to talk about, and they all have their advantages, but I know you're gonna want me to pick a winner. Let me say this. Specifically for commuting, when you have a set amount of stuff you need to carry and you know you'll be riding through all conditions, snow, rain, sleet, hail, I think the best option is a pannier. Why? Because it's the best mix of all these things. It's got good carrying capacity. You can seal it up away from the elements. It's pretty convenient. It does come off your bike. You can carry it up into your office. And it looks good if you get a nice one like this Vincita. That being said, there are great advantages to the other ones too, especially the baskets. The baskets are very convenient. I would say less for commuting and more just for running errands in the neighborhood. If you've got one on your bike at all times, you can just pick it up and go. So they're also good options, especially if you're price conscious. And I actually think the worst one is the backpack. If you plan on commuting, if you're new to it, you're not sure what to do, I would say it's worth the investment. Go for a good pannier. So that's it. I hope that helped. Um, I found it kind of fun. It's nice to try these things. Sometimes I, I, I've used all of these over the years, but I still surprise myself sometimes when I actually think about testing them like this. And I hope it helps make your bike life a little bit simpler. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already. It does make a big difference. And I'll see you next time.